hi guys welcome back to my channel today we have a new video i'm in the kitchen and uh, thank you so much for always supporting me guys please watch up to the end and support me i really need your support so today I'm, i want to show you how i make my pasta vegetable and beef um so i have my pasta here and green peas are serving as veggie i also have my beef tiny chopped i also have my two tomatoes onion um and ginger um and then i have my black pepper and salt as usual you know i use very minimal spices guys i don't use i don't like a lot of spices and if i put i if i put a lot of spices it will be natural so I start by boiling my pasta. So I have already boiled my water. I'm just putting it in the cooking pot now, cooking pot now, so that I can add my pasta inside. So make sure before adding your pasta in the water, the water is boiling. It's already set in boiling, and me leave it to boil for about 9 to 11 minutes me when i i, I put like this i have to put a timer because sometimes i forget and they will overcook or i get caught up with some things and then they overcook then add a little bit of salt then um a little bit of a uh, cooking oil and now leave it to cook for 9 to 10 minutes it all depends guys the secret for this thing is here if you overcook it anyway it all depends with your preference so as my pasta boils i i, I took my onion and i put a little bit of cooking oil as usual you know i don't use a lot of cooking oil i just use very minimalist cooking oil and i want to start preparing my beef and veggies as my pasta boils so my my onion is ready i think so i'm coming i'll come in with my beef in the meantime i'll keep checking my pasta and uh just turning them around so that they don't stick together is it stick together or what what is the name you know what i mean anyway yeah, so they are good. They keep cooking there. And then I add my beef. I add my beef. Guys, I want to buy minced beef. Then the, the person whom I buy from, the machine was spoiled. So he end to cut the beef into small pieces. That's, that's why my meat is like this. Actually, the perfect beef for this one is minced beef. But this one we still do anyway. So I put my beef and uh, and stir a little bit the oil and then I add my ginger. Remember ginger, the purpose of ginger here is to, to enhance the softness of beef, okay? If you like your beef to be soft, always always put uh, always put ginger. It's going to help the beef to be soft. So I think my pasta is ready. As you can see, the water is going away. I keep checking and checking because I don't want it to overcook. I want to be very specific with it. There is a specific texture I want to do so I don't want it to overcook. So I covered my beef for about five minutes. And now I think the water, you make sure the water has gone away all of it. It's, there is still a little bit of water, so I think I'll just cover it for some more minutes before I put tomatoes because I want the water to drain completely, the water that comes from the beef. I cover it and then I wait for about five minutes. If I, when it's ready now, I can add some tomatoes and other vegetables. So, yeah, so as my beef is cooking uh, so I I have to drain water from this one now they are ready it's approximately 10 minutes now of boiling the pasta now I have to drain them to drain the water you can see now I have drained the excess water now my pasta is ready to be put 
to to be mixed with the other ingredients you can see i have drained the water now it looks like that you see it's very unique so i put my pasta aside and i check on my meat now i have to cook the mix and make the the paste where i'll add the the pasta i check my meat like that i think they are ready now the water is gone as you can see the water is completely gone now i come in with my tomatoes like that i then i start a little bit just a little bit and then at this point if we are going to add the sauce and the spices at this point you can add any spices you are you using but for me i don't use a lot of spices i'm going to use just sauce and black pepper i'm so minimalist when it comes to spices guys that is a little bit of black pepper there i put like that and um just mix it so that they can marinate together a little bit and mix it a little bit so that they can marinate and then i cover it to, to give us so that my tomatoes can cook okay yeah i hope you are enjoying this video guys please Please, 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 please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video, okay? It will really help me a lot. So, after five minutes, two minutes, I think, the, my, my, my tomatoes are ready. They are cooked. So, I mash them together and make a paste like this. At, and at this point, I'm ready to add my green peas. Remember, we are making... Uh, beef veggie pasta so at this point i add my green peas my green peas are not boiled guys i got i just got them from the freezer and they're just like that i hand, i don't like boiling the green peas, peas first i cook them direct i cook them direct so i add my green peas i mixture them together so that they can mix with the meat like that you see like that guys please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed okay please hit that subscribe button please support this girl over here i'm just trying to survive okay guys and what it's like this so i'll hand a little bit of water just a little bit to enhance so that my beef so that it can help so that it can help to cook my beef and my green peas a little bit a little bit remember I will add the pasta when everything is ready so after adding water I covered for about five minutes and I think my green peas are ready and my my beef is ready you can see it's ready and there is a little bit of water there so that it's not dry when you put pasta it's not dry so this is a good paste where you can put pasta so here I come in with my pasta as you can see I have put my pasta like that and then now i start um stirring and mixing everything together at this point you can put your gas off or whatever you are cooking with you can put it off at this point because you are just mixing and remove at the pot you don't wanna overcook it you don't wanna overcook it guys so at this point just mix 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 as your gas is off my gas is already off guys i'm just mixing and serve you see it looks so yummy so juicy look at it you can look at it guys so yummy and so nutritious and so healthy so 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 healthy remember guys the secret to making good pasta boil and set time don't boil over 10 minutes so i serve my pasta like that it still looks so yummy guys this is our end product what do you think about it let me know down below please comment let me know what do you think about my dinner today okay thank you so much for always supporting me please consider subscribing if you have not like and share the video to your friends guys thank you for staying up to the end if you have may god bless you so much bye i love you